Hey Kingdom Builders, welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time joining me here at Kingdom Wealth Ministries, a special welcome to you. Here we are, number 33. This is the third installment in my prophetic number series. And this number, you all, if you have been seeing this number in any form, 333, 333, 33, 33, any of the variations, this number is very significant. The Lord is speaking to you prophetically, and you people are extraordinary, extraordinary, extraordinary people, and the Lord is about to bless you so abundantly. There are so many prophetic messages throughout this video, so stay to the end to hear each and every one. And I want to encourage you to grab a notepad or a journal so that you can take down the scriptures I share with you, everything that is in this video, and even the videos to come on other numbers are so important to your destiny. So you want to write these things down and take them very seriously because the Lord is trying to do something in and through you. I also want to say that these prophetic words are going to be confirmation to you all. So I sought the Lord this morning and I said, God, these things that you've revealed to me, help me to explain them to the people so that they know just how truly great they are. And the Lord spoke to me and said, it is not your job to convince them. The people that I sent you to, you are confirming what I already said to them. So I give glory to God and I'm just going to do the Lord's work and trust that whoever he is speaking to through me, this will be your confirmation. Okay? Amen. So before I get into the bulk of what I have to reveal to you, let me just say a few things uh, just so that we are all on the same page. So you all, I know a lot of you all are seeing multiple prophetic numbers. You're seeing 11, 11, 11, uh, 22, 222, 22, 22, 33, 33, 44, 55, 66, all, all these numbers, multiple prophetic numbers. And the Lord has a special message for you all. But every individual that I put out on the individual numbers are pertaining to you and your destiny. So watch all the videos that keep showing, all the videos with numbers that keep showing up to you. But know that at the end of all this, I am going to do a special video just for you all who are seeing multiple prophetic numbers because the Lord has a certain message that he wants to tell you all. Not everybody sees multiple prophetic numbers. When I first started receiving of uh, this way that the Lord speaks, I only saw the number 33. And then over time, it progressed to various different numbers. There's a special message coming out just for you all who see multiple numbers. Also, um, when you see numbers in triples and quadruples, so maybe your number is 22 but you see it in 22, 22. You see it in 222. Two, two. Uh, the Lord is saying it is the same meaning. It is the same prophetic message, but he just wants you to pray more fervently when you see the triple and quadruple digits. So the 222 two, two, and the 2222 two, 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 or the 333 three, three, and the 3333. Three, three, three. The Lord is like tapping on your shoulder saying, hey, the, the open, the, the heavens are open. Pray now, pray now, pray now, pray according to your destiny. Pray according to what I spoke to you. Pray about it, pray about it, pray about it. You know, the word says that in James 5, 16, the effectual fervent prayer of, a, of the righteous availeth much. In the New Living Translation, it says the earnest prayer of a righteous person has great power. Come on, somebody, great power and produces wonderful results. How many of you want wonderful results? Okay, so if you want wonderful results and you want to produce great power, the Lord is saying when you see these quadruples and, and these triples, you better pray fervently, pray fervently because it brings about power and wonderful results. Amen? Amen. So um, I want to remind you all that this YouTube channel is more than a YouTube channel. It is an altar. It is an altar before the Lord. And so what that means is when you come here, you are having or you are in divine connection with the most high God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
You are in touch with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, because I have given this channel to the Lord to use me according to whatever he wants to do in and through your life. And so that is the reason why a lot of you are brought here supernaturally. I got a message this morning from a woman saying, Quan, I meant to click on somebody else's video, but your video just started playing automatically. How many of you know that is not common? That is not natural. It is supernatural. And the, the reason why these things are happening, happening supernaturally is because this is an altar to the Lord. So I say that to say, as I am operating in my prophetic gift, just know that I'm not going based on how other YouTubers do. They might have a message for you. They might have bullet points and just give it to you. Here, thus saith the Lord. But for me, I flow in the prophetic because I know that the Lord uses me when I come on this camera. And so your word might be at the very end of the message. So you want to hang in there. You want to listen to the video all the way to the end because you never know when your prophetic message is going to come. Amen. Amen. And speaking of, I hear the Lord telling me right now that there is a woman watching who is a hairstylist. You are a hairstylist. And the Lord is saying that there is a client in your chair who has funds, who has money, who has finances. And the Lord has given you a vision. He has given you an idea. And the Lord is saying that now is the time for you to talk to that client about your vision, about your idea, and give that client an opportunity to invest in you, declares the Lord. All righty. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And, and if that's your word, please leave a comment. I'd like to know who you are. If you don't mind, I just want to know who I'm talking to. Amen. By the way, shout out to everybody watching. Put your um your name and the city, state, country that you're watching from because I want I want to connect with you all. I read every single, well, I read most of the comments. I read most of the comments. You all, if, if you've been seeing me commenting back to you and liking and hitting the heart on your comments, comment down below. Let me know where you're from. All right. So here is the revelation of the number 33. And again, when I say 33, I am referring to all the threes. Three, 33, 33, 33, 33, 33, all every single 33 um, that you see in any type of variation. But for the sake of this video, I'm just saying 33, okay? All right, so let's get into it. The Lord revealed to me that the 33, when you see it, the Lord is saying to you that this represents divine promises. And this is according to Genesis 12, 1 through 3, which is the Abrahamic covenant, okay? Dreams coming true, according to Psalm, 1, Psalm 126, 1 through 3. So dreams coming through, true, divine promises, chosen to be in high places with God. And that's according to the prophet Isaiah 58, 14. And chosen to know great things that others do not know. And that is according to Jeremiah 33, 3. So here are the scriptures that supports what the Lord is saying to you. Again, when you see the 33, it is four things that the Lord is telling you, that there are divine promises that he's about to bring to pass in your life. The dreams are coming true. Hallelujah. You are chosen to be in high places with God, and you are chosen to know great things that others do not know. Let's get into these scriptures. The first, Genesis 12, 1 through 3, which is the Abrahamic covenant. The Lord said to Abram, go from your country. Oh, Jesus, I hear the Lord saying, the Lord said to Keisha, leave your mother's house. Hallelujah. Go from your country, your people and your father's household and the, to the land that I will show you. So the Lord is saying, go, go from your country, go from your people, go from your father's household to the land. I will show you. This is God speaking to Abraham. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will curse those who curse you and all peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know when you hear that. So the Lord is saying that he, that, that he has divine promises for you. And this is connected to the Abrahamic covenant. 
But as you read those scriptures, you may have thought to yourself, well, Quan, that was the Lord speaking to Abraham. No, no, no. We are the seed of Abraham. We are heirs according, according to the promise. Genesis 3, 9, 3, 29 says, if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to his promise. Now, you may have heard that in church before. Here's the difference between what you heard before and what you are hearing now. And here is the good news, that now is the time for the covenant to come to pass in your life. In our generation, glory be to God, glory be to God. Now is the time, sisters and brothers. Now is the time somebody better get excited. If you're excited, let me hear you say, I'm excited in the comments. I'm excited, I am excited. I'm excited for me, I'm excited for you, I am excited for the world because you know why? People who are seeing 33 in any of the variations, this is greatness across the board. This is greatness in the earth. These are you, this is you doing mighty exploits in the earth. It is global, it is huge, glory to God. Glory to God, the things that you are about to do, the things that the Lord is about to bless you with and how you will use those blessings will be a blessing to many people around the world. Shout out to the future billionaires on this channel altar, by the way. Glory to God for you. Let's do some big things in the earth. Hallelujah. The prophet Isaiah in 58, 14. So this is the Lord speaking. And he gave me the scripture for you concerning um, him saying that dreams are about to come true for you. And it says, I will cause you to ride in triumph on the land. Um, sorry, you guys. <laughs> this is according to, this is Isaiah 58, 14. But this is according to the Lord saying you are chosen to be in high places. Okay. So the prophet Isaiah 58, 14, you are chosen to be in high places, declares the Lord. And this is the scripture that is going to support that. It says, I will cause you to ride in triumph on the heights of the land and to feast on the inheritance of your, or of your father, Jacob, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. The Lord is saying he is going to cause you to ride in triumph and triumph and that you are going to be in the heights of the land. Where's the height? Is it down here? No, the height is not down here. The height is up here. Hallelujah. The Lord is raising you up to be on heights, to be on heights in the land. Glory to God. Glory to God. You know, I see right now in the spirit that there are great men and women of God being risen up in Africa. I see you in Asia. I, I literally see you all. Oh, glory to God in the UK. Glory to God in the islands, in the Caribbean islands. I see it. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. I see you all rising up in your nations. I see the Lord coming with his mighty wind, just lifting you up, lifting you up, lifting you up, lifting you up, raising you in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I see you on the heights. I see you on the heights. If you receive it, right, I receive it. If I'm talking to you, right, I am talking to you. I'm talking. You're talking to me, Quan. You're talking to me, Quan. And let me know what country you are speaking from. I want to know who are the next leaders. I want to know who's about to take over in the world. Oh, glory to God. This is so big. This is so big, you guys. All right. So and, and so when the Lord says that you will know great things that others do not know. That was in according to Jeremiah 33. And that is the part where he says, I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. So you even being in this on this video right now is the Lord fulfilling that even now. He is showing you and telling you great things that you do not know. Before you came here, you didn't know the meaning of why you kept seeing these 33s. Now you can go tell somebody else, this is the revelation that I received from the Lord, glory to God, because you know great things that other people don't know. And the Lord is about to continue revealing things to you that other people don't know. And when you get the revelation of these things, share it to whoever the Lord calls you to share it with. Um, it might be uh, the Lord reveals something to you and you take it to your government and you reveal it to them. Okay, that is how the Lord is going to raise you up with your revelation, with the revelation, just as he did me. He raised me up 
He calls me to rise with revelation. And when I begin to give the revelation, he just just raised me higher in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And so finally, um, dreams coming true. Dreams coming true for you. Dreams coming true. That's according to Psalms 126, 1 through 3. And it says, when the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dreamed. We were like those who dreamed when he restored our fortunes. Our mouths were filled with laughter. Our tongues filled with joy, with songs of joy. Then it was said among the nations. Then it was said among the nations. The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us and we are filled with joy. How many of you know when your dreams come true, you know that feeling that you get, that joy, that song of joy, that praise, that thanks, that gratitude. How many of you know when your dreams come true, everybody's looking like, oh, wow, she just got blessed. Oh, he did. Oh, look at the man of God. There's something new about him. Oh, the Lord bless you with that. Glory to God. How did you do it? What happened? But the Lord is saying the nations are going to know when he's, when they see the Lord's hand on you, nations are going to take note. For example, that is what's happening in my life right now. Nations, nations are coming to the YouTube channel, the altar. Nations are coming. I am being noticed in different nations. And the Lord is saying that, that when this dream comes to pass, when this dream comes true, nations are going to notice. Nations are going to notice. And they are going to say, the Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for them. Amen. If you receive it, type, I receive it in the comments. Glory be to God. Okay. So that was what the Lord revealed to me concerning the number 33 and in, in all its various forms, 333, 333, all of that. So the Lord gave me a prophetic message this morning concerning those of you who will be watching today. And this is what I heard the Lord say, solid investments. Tell my people I am coming for them. I am coming back with great expectancy. And as soon as the Lord said that, I knew he was referring to or leading me to the parable of the talents in the Bible. In fact, that is in found, that's found in Matthew 25, verses 14 through 30. And here's what it said. I know a lot of you know the story, but check this out. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold, to another two bags, and to another one bag, each according to his ability. Glory to God. Then he went on his journey, okay? He left. The Lord said he is coming back, and he's coming back with expectancy. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money to work and gained five bags more. So also, the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the man who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, somebody say a long time. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. Ah, oh, Jesus. Ah, oh, Jesus. The man who had received five bags of gold brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. See, I have gained five more. Oh, glory to God. If you, if you are this one, say, I have gained five more in the comments. I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Glory to God. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have gained two more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Now in the King James, it says, enter thou into thy and to enter thou into the joy of the Lord. And what that means is to be in high places with God. 
So when the Lord says, enter thou into my joy, it's like saying, come up here and, and reign and rule in high places with me. Hallelujah. Mm. Somebody just caught that. Ooh, so somebody just caught that. Ah, somebody just caught that. Who is it? Who is it? I feel it. Who was it? Type, I caught that. I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for. I caught that. I caught that. Write it in the comments so I can see it. Glory to God. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed? Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him, give it to the one who has 10 bags, for whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Mm. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Oh, Jesus. All right, I'm going to reveal to you some other things the Lord told me. And I'm going to get, this is all going to come together. And you are going to be so blessed by this in the name of Jesus. That is the parable of the talents. Let me reveal to you what else the Lord said. I heard the Lord say, Say, tell my people to use their gifts wisely. He wants me to tell you to be successful and make his name great. So here it is. The Lord is coming back. And he has given you or is about to give you great blessings, great abundance, great influence. He wants to see what you are going to do with what he has given you. He wants you to be like that servant that gained 10 bags of gold, who invested, who used his gift wisely and brought the master an increase. The Lord wants you to increase. That was the, that was the command in the book of Genesis in the beginning, be fruitful and multiply. The Lord is saying, don't just use your money. If you don't have money right now, if you're still waiting for that blessing, that covenant promise to come to pass, there are other things that you have. You have gifts, you have skills, you have abilities. The Lord is saying, use those now in this season. Use those now in this season, because that could be the thing that the Lord will do to, to bring the increase in your life. I hear the Lord saying, somebody needs to volunteer. I hear the Lord saying, somebody needs to use their gifts for free so that the Lord can bless the work of their hands. Glory to God. Glory to God. So don't just sit on what the Lord has given you. You want to see these promises come to pass? The promises are here. The covenant is here. The Lord has given you strategy to bring these things into manifestation. So you're going to pray when you see these numbers. Every time you see 333, 3333, 33, all the 33s, you want to pray fervently according to James. Okay, according to James 1, like I read earlier, you want to pray fervently. You want to pray fervently. You want to do what the Lord tells you to do in terms of obedience and avoiding sin and getting the sin out of your life. Okay, you want to use your gifts, your talents, your skills and abilities to bring these things to pass. Um, the Lord is also saying that um, he is about to bring great wealth into a lot of you all's lives. So you all who have been called according to the promise, those of you who are seeing this 33 and this 333, et cetera, the Lord is about to bring great wealth into your life and he wants you to be wise. He wants you to invest your money wisely. Now is the time to connect with financial advisors. Now is the time to get going um, in terms of creating a budget. Now is the time for you to start actively looking and seeking people who can help you manage and maintain this wealth to maintain this wealth that the Lord is about to bring to you. Listen, 
He is not joking when he says that this this covenant is about to come to pass in this generation. Now, it may not have visited your father's or your mother's generation, but the Lord is saying now is the time because you are chosen for such a time as this, for such a time as this. I heard the blessings of Abraham maketh rich and addeth no sorrow. So the Lord was here combining two different scriptures. That was the Abrahamic covenant mentioned in Genesis 2, but also the scripture in Proverbs 10, 22, um, where it says the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow to it. So the Lord is showing me that he wants you to know there is no sorrow coming with these blessings. There is no sorrow coming with this wealth with this land, with this house, with these nations, with this power, with this influence. There is no, there are no sorrow being added to that. So somebody once asked me, Quan, you know, I once heard you say that poverty is what keeps people in, um, sin is what keeps people in poverty. But what about wealthy people who don't know God, that refuse and reject and deny Christ? What about those people? They're billionaires. They're multimillionaires. Why are they successful? So the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it. The difference is a lot of billionaires, a lot of multimillionaires, a lot of people in politics with great power and wealth and the such, they have lots of sorrow. They have lots of sorrow. Their children are on drugs. Their children die early deaths or family members die early deaths. Every time they look around, they're putting somebody in the ground. That is sorrow. That is sorrow. The, the Lord says in the Bible, what good is it for a man to, to gain the world and lose his soul? Those people gain the world, but they lose their souls. Glory to God. We are not those people. We are not those people. Somebody write in the comments, we are not those people. We are not those people. We are the ones that get blessed and rise and have joy and happiness and abundance and prosperity in every area of our lives. There is no sorrow being added unto us. So they might get the wealth, but guess what? Sorrow is coming with it. We're getting the wealth and happiness, joy, restoration, growth and fluence and power and, and just, just being elated and clothed with the glory of God. That is our portion. That is our portion. So that is the difference between us and them. Who you with? <laughs> Who you with? <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. All right. I heard the Lord say, stand up and take your rightful place. For I have chosen you. Stand up and take your rightful place. For I have chosen you. I have created you for a purpose for such a time as this. I want you to catch that. This is the time. This is the time. Stand up and take your rightful place. For I have created you for a purpose. When Esther came into the palace, it was the perfect time. It was divine timing. It was not by accident that she arrived on the throne in the palace at the time that she did. It was for a purpose. It was for a reason. She was created for that time. You are created for 2022. You are created for 2023. You are created for 2024. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? You are created for such a time as this. You are created and everything connected to you. Everything connected to you. So as you rise, your children will be rising too. And they are created for such a time as they will be. Amen? Amen. The Apostle, the Apostle Paul writes in Ephesians 2, 1 through 10. And this he writes to the church of Ephesus, but I believe he wrote it to us prophetically as well because it is so in alignment with what we're seeing and what the Lord is revealing today. And it says, as for you, you were dead in your transgressions and sins in which you used to live when you followed the ways of this world and of the ruler of the kingdom of the air, the spirit who is, is now at work in those who are disobedient. And we'll talk about that more when we get to 444, which is different from 44. That's a separate video. That is a separate category all in its life, glory, all, in, all in itself. So those of you who have been seeing 444, listen. All right. So all of us also lived among them at one time, gratifying the cravings of our flesh and following its desires and thoughts. Like the rest, we were by nature deserving of wrath. But because of his great love for us, God
God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive with Christ, even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. And God raised us up with Christ and seated us where? With him in heavenly realms, in Christ Jesus, in order that in coming ages he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressed in his kindness in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Now, not by work so that no one can boast. Nobody can get on Instagram saying, look at me, the Lord, uh, this happened for me and I'm doing this and I'm doing all these deals and you see me, I have all this power and influence. The Lord is saying, "Uh, uh, uh-uh-uh, you can't boast because I gave this to you. It is a gift not by work so that one can boast, for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared for us in advance to do, to do good works. And that is why the Lord showed me that parable of the talents, because the Lord wants you to do good works. The Lord wants to take what you have been given and he wants you to do good works. And as you do this, you will begin to see the manifestation of everything the Lord spoke to you about the number 33, which is to recap, glory to God, divine promises, dreams coming true, chosen to be in high places with God chosen to be in high places with God. And just like I have that vision, you all, I could see God in the high places that you are ascending to. I could see him there in the high places, calling shots, calling aud- calling audibles for those of my football players, <laughs> calling audibles. And he is saying he is rising you up. And, and seated in heavenly places, not just in the heavenly realms. Shout out to you, 1111 and 11111 folks in heavenly realms where you have spiritual access and you can see all these things going on. So we're not just there, but we're also in high places in the earth. And you're also chosen to know great things that others do not know. I just want to exhort you and encourage you right now, sisters and brothers because I know what time it is. I discern the times like the sons of Issachar. And I know the Lord is about to bring abundant blessings on your household. You have to, you have to be responsible. You have to be responsible. You have to invest wisely. The Lord is coming back and he is going to take account. I feel energy in my hand. I feel tangling in my hands. Jesus, Jesus, what am I saying, Lord? Who am I prophesying to, God? What are you doing, Father? Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord is coming back with great expectations. He wants you to take what he has given and make the most of it. What is about to be poured into your life supernaturally, miraculously, the Lord wants you to make good on that. The Lord wants you to invest it and grow it and conquer nations. Be wise, surround yourselves with wise people, people who can advise you, pray. When you see 33 and 333 and all the various threes, pray to the Lord, oh God, I know you have called me to great heights. I know the great call of God on my life. Help me, Father, send destiny helpers, oh Lord. Send me wise men and women of God who can train me and counsel me and educate me and lead me, oh God. Send me people, God, whether it be through books or teachings or YouTube or just send me, God, send your heavenly angels according to what you promised, O Lord, so that I can do your will. And so that when you come, you can say to me, thy good and faithful servant, well done, well done, thy good and faithful servant. Enter thou into my rest, enter thou into my joy, enter thou into my happiness, It is the blessings of the Lord that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow to it. And I decree and declare over your life that these blessings are going to make you abundantly rich, exceedingly rich, exceedingly rich, exceedingly rich. And I decree and declare that you will do great things with what the Lord is about to pour into your life in Jesus name. I hear the Lord saying, 
I hear the Lord saying that by the new year, by the new year, you won't be the same. You will not go into the new year the same. Something is about to happen in your life and you will not be the same afterwards. Glory to God. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, thank you, Jesus. So I know some of you want to follow me on Instagram. I know some of you want to sow into this ministry. And I know some of you want to <laughs> like this, this video, right? And subscribe to this channel, right? But I know that you also don't want to miss the next video, which is 440. Nope, not 444, 44. 44. 44 is coming up next. So hit that notification bell. If you keep seeing 44 or any of the various numbers, because those videos are going to follow. You all, I love you. If you feel so led, so into the ministry, I'll put the information in the description box as well as with my Instagram. Oh, the Lord is about to do great things for us. And when he does, we will be like those that dream. We will be like those that dream. Glory to God. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you for joining me here today. Let's continue to build the kingdom of God together. Until next time, go forth and prosper. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.